So whenever I travel, I'm always looking for good food and good drink to round out all of the other adventures that I'm getting into. And here in Turkey, it is no different. Fun fact, Turkey is actually the fourth largest grape producer in the world. So where there are good grapes, there has to be good wine. I know lots of us have heard about French wine and Italian wine and even South African wine, but I'm ready to put you guys onto some Turkish wine and I'm gonna do a little taste test. So I have to keep it real, these bottles that I'm gonna taste from, I'm actually giving them as gifts. So if I give you a bottle and it's already open, don't ask me why it's open. It's because I already drank from it. Moving on, so I am going to try three different types. I have a dry white wine, okay, see. I also have a rosé, okay. And then I also have a red. And of course, I cannot pronounce any of the names of these beverages, but that is, it doesn't matter. That's my business. So let's first start with the white wine. And I know you guys, I don't know if you saw that clip that I put up about all them pigeons, but apparently all that pigeon behavior is good for growing agriculture and whatnot. So I hope I don't taste no pigeon in this wine. That's ridiculous. I better not taste no pigeon in this wine. Okay, so first up is the the white, okay? The white, okay, let's, I took like a fake me out wine class in, in business school, so I think you're supposed to swirl and then sip and you'd be like, mm. let's see if the bottle says anything about what it is, okay? So this is the Emir, it says, Okay, it's all in Turkish, so I can't read it. But I, I hope it tastes good, so let's see. It tastes good, like, it's dry. It's not too sweet. The aftertaste isn't wild, so no, I think it tastes good. Okay, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Whoever gets this bottle, we're gonna enjoy. Not you, we, because I'm gonna drink it with you. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up, I think I'm gonna try the rosé. So as you can see, they're all local wines, the Cappadocia. Okay, so this says a dry rosé wine, and in Turkish it says rosé sep sarap. I guess that means dry rosé wine in Turkish. This one is well, a bunch of words, of course, that I can't understand, but I think it's still just gonna be delicious. I'm getting some, some hummus right now, so I guess that'll be a good interruption. Sorry. No worries, thank you. Hummus and bread. Thank you very much, thank you. Good, okay, good, you know, the hummus is also dope. Let me show y'all what this hummus looks like. Can you see? Um, it looks good, so I'm gonna enjoy that. Okay, so there was a we swirl. Hmm, smells like wine. I don't know. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Okay, so obviously this one is a bit sweeter. It's not like super sweet, so it's not like that the cheap stuff that we be drinking. It's not like that. It's it's like it's drier. No strong aftertaste. I can't really taste any fruits or vegetables. I don't think I don't think you taste vegetables. Um, it it tastes good. So boom, whenever you get some rosé, you're gonna enjoy. Let me have some hummus right now. I guess to cleanse my palate, as they say. And then I'm gonna come right back when my main meal gets here. Try out the red. I have just finished my hummus. Well, not all the way, but like small, small. And my main course is here. So let me try and show y'all what it looks like without creating too much of a mess. Can y'all see? Ooh, so I got lamb skewers, which of course goes perfectly with the red wine. Now, I got this Kalichikrasi. I definitely didn't say that right, don't even mind me. Dry red wine, and it says Kermizi Sex Syrup. Guys, like, just use Google is your friend for the Turkish translation of these things. 
this is the bottle so we are gonna taste test it and see how it goes um, as we know you know red wine is typically good for meat while we drink white wine for chicken and seafood so let's see okay we don't smell the okay okay mm. so while i was eating my hummus i actually did a bit of research you know the research that i should have done before i got on camera about turkish wine so let me just share some things with you so this one right here that we're having that i just butchered the name of it's a turkish grape okay and it comes from the ankara province in turkey and um they're famous for the unique taste aroma and flavor let's see mm, okay mm. Okay, 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 okay. So apparently because of high demand and interest, it's now cultivated in other parts of the country. Okay, these are the, it says a light, fresh, and elegant finish. Okay, I am light, fresh, and elegant. So let's see if it's a, if it's a match. Let's go. Okay, let's try. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to have an aroma of red fruit, vanilla, and cocoa. Okay. I mean it's it tastes good. That's that's boom. What I can say is um I don't know if I taste any cocoa in there, but it tasted good. And so we're gonna give a thumbs up to this uh Kalichi Karasi. I didn't say that right. Don't even mind me, right? So we just tried three different very delicious wines, right? In terms of price points, all of these are between 100 and 150 lira. So what that means is like between 20 and $30. So that's pretty affordable and they taste great. And of course it's a great gift and very delicious. So remember, this is the Amir. This is the one that we tried and this is the dry white wine and according to the internet it represents 25 percent of local grape production in cappadocia and it's the only turkish grape exclusive to this area shout out to you amir wine okay and then we have this the right the rose the rose sex syrup mm -hmm. this one was just delicious i don't know if you're gonna find anything about the internet on the internet about this it was just good so i'm gonna say yes I'm gonna get back to my food but I definitely of course hope that you all have a chance to try some Turkish wines and as I said if you get this as a gift birthday gift stocking stuffer I bring it to your house for a birthday party it's open just be cool about it I don't want to hear anything cheers <laughs>